All right, welcome back to the Sooner Surge, and it's Bedlam Day, boys. It's time. Game day's here, the final Bedlam. Uh, got a little bit of news uh, that broke. I, I would say news, Jeremy, that was late last night, um, and Caleb Hicks' Twitter. Um, he had the uh, little action emoji uh, that if you were filming a movie, it would be action. Um, I don't know. I find it very interesting with this game tomorrow, and that comes out is – has he moved up on the depth chart with injuries and with things? And is he going to get some playing time tomorrow? I think, I think there's a good possibility we see Caleb Hicks today. Yeah, look, uh, you used the phrase, uh, I think you said, a bit of news breaking. I don't know if it's breaking, but here's the deal. Hicks did post that on his Twitter. Uh, obviously, it, it seems to me, if you, if you look into things, th- that's definitely what the emoji means. Uh, you would have to think that he's going to get uh, some run today. Uh, I don't know how much run that means. Like you said, does it mean he's moving up to a backup role? Is he third on the depth chart now? I don't know. Is he going to play special teams? Whatever the case, but we've been talking about a number zero all week. And now we could be talking about another number zero making an impact in this game, Caleb Hicks. Well, and Jeremy, he's a guy – I mean, we've done a ton of videos on OU this year. A lot of our viewers have asked about him. It's a guy we talked about early on. that uh, He had some really good comparisons in the offseason uh, from OU players uh, to other guys, that, and they thought he's just going to be an impressive guy at OU. Um, and, you know, I think it was early on he got a few plays, like real early on in the year, and he looked really good. Uh, yeah. and, and here's the deal. Listen to DeMarco Murray every week. Um, he kind of goes off practices as well. And if this is a guy that's been looking really good in practice, maybe they're just going to say, hey, we're going to give you a shot today. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's all it is, is we're going to give you a shot. Yeah, it could be that. I mean, look, you have Major and Walker that obviously have been hurt. Okay. That leaves Saul, Chuck, and Barnes. Uh, you know, Barnes got a little bit of a chance last week. Saul Chuck, we know kind of what he's been, but he didn't play as much last week. Was there maybe something else going on injury-wise with him that he can't get rid of? I don't know. But whatever it is, Hicks felt it upon himself to put that emoji. And, Jay, let's talk about Hicks. He's got three carries, 14 yards on the season, uh, early in the season, and that's not a bad average. Uh, Second of all, he's 5'11", 204. He brings a little size to the table. Uh, He's got some speed, was a four-star out of high school. The guy obviously has ability. I'd be excited to see him if something's going on with those other guys. Yeah, and it it could be where it would be the first time, let's just say Major and Walker are ruled out of the game. Well, you're going to have to move somebody up to that third spot. And go look at any game this year. Almost every game they played two to three running backs, have they not? I mean, usually they nobody gets the bulk of the carries with this offense, it seems like. They're running guys in. So if he's moved up, maybe maybe that's telling us that Major and Walker probably aren't playing. Yeah, it could be that. I agree. I mean, if those two guys are out, he's got to be third on the depth chart, uh, especially with Farouk. If, you know, is Farouk going to play any running back? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to look into things. Probably much, not. They shouldn't play Farouk at running back. I agree. But you also got to think, is this a game that Levy maybe implements a little bit of a two running back set as well? I don't know. I just think that uh, Hicks posting that uh, leads me to believe he's going to get on the field some. Yeah, and that's what I would say too. I I, I don't think it means anything like he's going to start and, and play a ton. I, I just think that means, hey, action time. It's time I might get on the field. Uh, i got to be ready to go. And, and that's all that means. And, and uh you know, that little thing is action take one. I mean, this could be his uh, time where he gets out there. And, and like you said, it may be special teams. I, I think it's more of a running back role. I think it's uh, if he moves, if those other guys are injured, yeah, he's going to get some run today and uh, make the most of it is all you can say. Uh, you know, it's, it's true freshman, um, big, big game. Uh, so, hey, it, 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 there's been other big games where two freshmen have come in and, and, and made the name for themselves in, in in Bedlam as well. So uh, we'll see what happens today. But I do think that that means that he's going to get a little bit of time today. Yeah, and it's interesting because on our lives uh, throughout this week, his name has come up. 
people are wondering, you know, Hicks or Smothers, what do you guys think? And, and now it's just interesting that you see this tweet late last night. Uh, very late, I think. I'm not sure exactly what time this tweet went out, but it was I, close I don't know to midnight. Work. Close to midnight. So, yeah, uh, it will be interesting. We will make sure that we keep you guys up to date. We will be on uh, YouTube Live uh, probably around 1.30. Uh, talk about warm-ups, talk about, you know, just thoughts going into this game an hour before. So make sure you are subscribed to the Sooner Surge. Again, we are not saying breaking news, Caleb Hicks is starting. Not what we're saying. We just think, we both feel strongly that he is going to get on the field today. It will be interesting to see how much or if any at all, but that's what we take. You can go check out the Twitter uh, as well and look, get your opinions on it. I'd love to hear them. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. As always, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like Jeremy said. Going to be a lot of content today. Uh, and this is the final Bedlam game. I woke up this morning and early, uh, real early, uh, excited for this game. I, I, the weather already, you can feel it outside. It's going to be a lot warmer today than it's been the last few days. Uh, the wind is going to be dying. They're saying now wind 8 to 10 miles an hour. It shouldn't be crazy. So uh, it's going to be a great day, and I think it's going to be a great day to be a senior, to be honest with you. Same. Awesome, guys. Till next time. Boomer. Boomer. Boomer.